I'm closing my eyes because I'm envisioning a world, hopefully in the near future and not so far distant future, that people exhibit more kindness, people exhibit more empathy, people understand and recognize other people's humanity. People are able to see connection points greater than our differences. People are able to show love and people are able to be unconditional with their love. Speaking frankly, growing up knowing I was gay, I was terrified. I came of age in the 1990s and the HIV AIDS crisis hung over my childhood and my adolescence and my development as this very scary dark cloud. A mystery disease known as the gay plague has become an epidemic unprecedented in the history of American medicine. As an adult now, I can look back and say my life is so rich and so full because there are organizations like Housing Works. I'm so proud of Housing Works for always being there to face the crisis, whether it was the early days of HIV and AIDS, whether it was the COVID crisis just a couple of years ago. You need organizations like Housing Works to fight and be on the front lines. I came to the United States in 1975, and I remember the first day I arrived coming from Africa. I've heard about this Gotham City. It was the best of time and the worst of times. But when the AIDS pandemic hit, it was quite clear who it was hitting. Topping the list of likely victims are male homosexuals who have many partners and drug users who inject themselves with needles. People were dying, and that's all we knew. Our friends were dying, and that was the first time I've come to know about the work that Housing Work does. Housing Works is the largest non-for-profit focused on healthcare and human services. We're focused on ensuring that our clients, our patients, our community have housing. Housing is healthcare. We all know how extreme our homelessness is. And what I love about Housing Work is that they always kept it local. One of the first questions I always get asked is why have I been at Housing Works? Why do I stay here? And it's honestly for the mission and the work that we do. We literally see clients' lives saved. This one client in particular, Jerry, he is such a joy and a character. This is great. <laughs> Woo. <sighs> All right, actually, we're going to need you to lose the sunglasses. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Jerry Brown, and I am a longtime client of Housing Works. In 2010, I found out I, was, I had AIDS. I found out I was in jail, so it was kind of demoralizing. One thing is the stigma around HIV AIDS and how people are looked at. It actually took me 10 years to get to Housing Works. Stigma was so bad, and people judge you knowing the fact that you was positive. The stigma shouldn't be there. That's what Housing Work done for me at the time, gave me an outlet not to feel so isolated. The fact that Housing Works supports marginalized communities and has the capability to gather those people and give them a space of community is something that resonates with me so deeply. Being queer, being black, it just pushes this narrative of change and community. Housing Works is a bunch of communities, and one of our communities is our 10 thrift stores and our bookstore cafe. There's this great term that Housing Works uses to describe the people who work in their shops. It's retail activist. My name is Safira, and I am a retail activist at the Housing Works bookstore and cafe. I think it's really important to work for a company like Housing Works to be involved in your community and help others who may be suffering from things that you don't go through. I became aware of Housing Works' thrift shops, and that was the wonderful way of giving back. These sprinkle all the great neighborhoods of New York. We believe that each one of these stores is a mirror to our neighborhoods, and we try to serve them just as we serve our clients. We have our newest location in Hell's Kitchen on West 48th. It is a fantastic site, and we're super excited to have all our clients come here, our community, our employees join in this new location. We're also working on 125th in Harlem. People are the heart of everything, and so meeting people, especially the residents who actually are receiving services, who live here, the one 
resident that we did go and visit at his residence, you know, found love here. People can come and have a chance to, you know, rehabilitate themselves in the way that works best for them. Housing Works provides health care, job training, housing, and to continue providing these incredible services, we rely on folks like you. So Housing Work does their work, but it's up to us New Yorkers to actually show up. <laughs> yeah, we can't even get that far, right? We're New Yorkers. We have to look after each other. This is your neighbors. We're in the same community. We need money. <laughs> we need money. Do what you can to keep all the incredible things that Housing Works does every day in this city alive. Yeah, we do need money, but I want to make it clear we need a lot of money. So dig deep. Thank you, y'all. <laughs> this is an incredible evening and I'm so humbled and so happy and so honored, all the H's, to be here tonight. I was introduced to Housing Works through Design on a Dime. That connection point and being honored through that connection point is very important. We are part of the fabric of New York and we are excited to be in this next chapter. When I think about the future, I think about community. That's the world at which my son inherits. That's the world in which I hope to be bringing about while my very limited time, all of our very limited time here on Earth. Ooh. Ooh.